starting the live video. I'll wait a second, see if anybody catches me this morning. This morning, this morning, this morning. So. It is Wednesday, March 20th, 2019, and we are live at the Branson City Lakeside RV Park in Spring Break, Branson, Missouri, right now. So, anyway, um, yesterday was a gorgeous day. We had a couple very nice days, and today we're back to cloudy, but we're not cold. We're not cold. So I think uh, it's supposed to be really nice tomorrow and Friday. So we will be fishing again on Friday. That is my goal. I have not told my father I'm probably going to come steal his boat and go fishing again on Friday. This is like the best time of year to be on the boat, it seems like. So anyway, but I wanted to hop on here today and tell you that um, and just kind of talk about what is the real cost of health? And you know what I mean? The real cost. I've been thinking about this. I kind of woke up this morning pondering this question. And really, I believe that the real cost of your health is your life. At period. End of story. We can't can't put a, a price on life, but when it comes or you know, on your on your life, but when it comes down to it, um, the cost of your health is your life. And so there are just things we have to do to protect that. You know, I really believe it's in your hands um, and it's not in the hands of uh, other people. You really have to be, really, really have to be on it. So today I just kind of wanted to share um, the, I had to go to the doctor not too long ago, but it didn't have to do with a common health ailment. Basically I had found a lump on the side of my neck um, and I just wanted it cleared. We we work in a very high risk uh, industry. I think if I if I remember correctly, and I could be off on my stats, but cancer for firefighters, first responders, is uh, like I have like a I don't know if it's like a two hundred percent chance more or something like that of getting a cancer just from the exposure of toxins and everything. So anyway, we've already had one guy on our uh, department that um, had dealt with uh, some, some a little bit of cancer in his neck coming from, it wasn't his lymph nodes, I can't remember what he said it was, but anyway, he's, he's cancer free now, but he had to go through uh, some surgeries and stuff to get it removed. So anyway, I got highly concerned because one day I was whatever and I felt this lump, so I've been kind of watching it, etc. That said, I, I went to a specialist, I went twice. I've been cleared. Uh, in fact, he told me this on my visit a couple weeks ago. He said, "Hey, he said you're you're healthy." <laughs> he said, "In fact, you're you're very very healthy." So that was nice to know that um, this lifestyle works. So he is not concerned about it being any kind of cancer. So that is awesome. He said it's probably more muscles muscular skeletal from all the weight of the equipment that I have to wear and all the stress on my head and my neck and my and my upper back. So anyway, I wanted to show you, I went to the doctor and met with a specialist in my network. So if you're watching this from out of the country, I don't, we don't have socialized medicine. We have, um, we have private insurance and, the, and those and public insurance, but I have private insurance. My employer offers me insurance. They pay for my health insurance. I have a very good insurance plan compared to all the other plans I've ever had with my employer. Um, my current plan has been very, very, very good. Very good. We had our health meetings early in the year or right at the end of the year, like in December. Deductibles were going up uh, because people are going to the doctor more. And even if you don't go to the doctor more, you still pay for it. Okay. So my deductibles gone up, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I went to the doctor twice, and I'm going to show you this on my bill. My insurance, even though I have very good insurance, um, this was the cost of my doctor visit. The doctor charged me $309. $309. I know it's backwards, but I'm just showing you the bill. 
my little time and discussion and exam was $309, okay? My insurance only paid $46.41. I paid $262.59. So what is the cost of health? I mean, my insurance, even though I have good insurance, you know, that ain't, that ain't, that ain't good. They only covered $46.41 in network, and I went to a specialist. So, you know, when it comes to, and this is just me mirroring the, the real ailments that are out there, the real preventative ones. I'm talking about high blood pressure. I'm talking about cholesterol. I'm talking about type 2 diabetes. I'm talking about um, issues that come with uh, emotional things like that, mind issues, anxiety, depression, these things. And this, this is just, this, this is just putting things in perspective. So I don't know how people afford to go to the doctor. And I know, um, on the calls that I run kind of how that whole thing works out with, with a lot of people. Um, but the cost of your health is your life. So if I can do anything today to encourage you to take your health in your own hands, especially if you are dealing with some of those common ailments, the high blood pressure, the cholesterol issues, the um, just the typical things that doctors want to immediately pull their, pull their little paper and pen out and prescribe you. Those are the things I'm talking about because really what is the true cost? It's killing you. I mean, it's not only killing you you know, health-wise, it's killing you in, the, in your pocketbook. So, you know, to really be able to take control back when you eat for hormone health and heal your body the way it can be healed, that is what I'm pushing for. That's what I'm telling you, you know. If I had gone to the doctor because I was having, um, wasn't sleeping well, or I could tell my blood pressure was up and I'm not feeling right or I went for my exam and they're telling me all these things like hey you need to you really need to get your blood pressure down you're going to be in that zone of possible stroke possible heart attack you know and the, and the first thing they want to do is throw me on a prescription by the time I left that office between the office visit and a prescription I could be looking at <laughs> I mean there ain't no telling three four five hundred dollars I mean okay so you've got your stress of your health but now you just got this bill and now you're sitting there going uh, he just told me to, I need to, uh, uh, I need to manage my stress. Well, I just got stressed out even more because I found out all these things and then you slapped this huge bill on me. And now, you know, what, what am I to do? So if anything, if you've just found this page or you're just learning about this, you need, please go back through my videos. Please go back through my posts and let's start with the foundation of what you can do right now. Just the three things you can do right now. Four things, really. Change your oil. Change your salt. Drink more water. And start doing timed eating. Those basic concepts right there will absolutely transform your life. Transform your health. And you don't need a prescription to do it. You're not going to have to sacrifice any taste, any goofy thing. It is your basis. And then from there, we start looking at, okay, now what do I eat? How do I eat? How do I hack labels? How do I take in preservative, not take in preservatives? What is a preservative? What should I be looking out for? What should I not be looking out for? And you absolutely can transform your health. Absolutely on your own. No more prescriptions, no more doctor visits to deal with this stuff, and definitely no more bills to deal with. Because I'm telling you right now, if you've been around long enough, tell me, tell me when you were able to get your health insurance to go down. Tell me when the health bill from the doctor was not as much the year before as it is now. Um, in my, whatever, 20 plus years in the workforce, that's never happened. So guess what? It's not going to, it's not going to get any cheaper. It's not going to get any easier. In fact, it's going to keep getting complicated. But we can get back to the simplicity and we can start attacking these things. We can start taking the control back. Because once you give up that control, especially your health and, and things on the front line like this that you can do something about, you can absolutely do this on your own. Okay? So I just want to encourage you today to do that. Um, I want to also just kind of put in another perspective 
of how how the food and pharmaceutical industry is not uh it doesn't matter in my opinion now because now I've got another revelation of it doesn't matter who you are you you are equally being attacked okay so here's an example and this is yesterday and I don't think my sister will care that I share the generalization of what's going on so she had called me and I have made her a 30-day eating plan because she's wanting to lose body fat excess weight and she's been told that maybe her blood pressure starting to get up there okay so here we are we are two two identical we're identical twins so we're identical twins we have the same DNA we have the same blood type we came from the same egg okay so think about this if we have came from the same spot and we are the same DNA and we are the same blood type then why is my health where it is, where it is, and why is her health in a different place? Okay, so why why would we be any different? And we even eat similar foods. I mean, we do because she sent me her food list. I'll tell you the difference. The difference is where those foods are coming from, and the disguise that the food and pharmaceutical, the food industry especially, is hiding. She gave me a list of what she was eating and. I hacked everything. I'm like, okay, you can eat this, but you're going to have to stay away from this brand and you're going to have to flip it over and look at it. Okay, you're going to have to rid of this. And really, I only eliminated, I think, like two or three actual foods. I'm like, done. You're not eating that anymore. So we're going to get her on track. I'm going to follow her and see where she goes because she is in a spot now where she's on that line where the doctor has told her, okay, you're starting to get some problems and they need to be addressed now or we're gonna have to do other things which is going to include prescription medicine so that is how this works guys it's not it's not be I mean we're identical twins and to a certain extent we should be mirroring each other but we are not right now with health wise and that is an indication to me how the food industry is destroying our food and destroying our health and and we're not safe that way that's why we have to keep keep up on this stuff so anyway just some talk today on what's kind of going on just some food for thought just some things to mull over in your brain and just really think about so I go back to work tomorrow I'm hoping I don't know because I want to go fishing Friday and I'd like to show you more of of kind of that recreation time because really you don't think of it, a lot of people don't, but really when you can find hobbies that you like and you can find things that you enjoy, things that can kind of decompress de decompress your mind also decompresses what's going on in your body. So if you have high cortisol issues, your estrogen is high, finding those recreational things can actually heal your health too and heal your hormones. So we incorporate some of that stuff. So it is food, yes. It's also environmental, yes. And it's also you know, your, your, what's going on at home and then at work and managing all that at the same time so it all works together and it all will heal your, your hormones and your health. So remember, if you can hack your hormones, you can hack your health and you can get the life that you want. It is definitely not impossible. It is so possible. You just got to find that path. So keep hanging in here with us. And if you haven't gone to the hormonehack.com, go there. You'll learn more and then we'll heal you. All right. Hope you guys have a great day. Happy Wednesday, and I will see you soon.